Hey, it's Colin here from Photoshop Cafe and welcome to Tip Tuesday. This week, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna show you how to take a fully layered document and then duplicate that into a brand new document. All right, this week's Tip Tuesday is so simple. I'm gonna show you how to duplicate a layered document. So here's a little book layout that I did. And uh, what I want to do is I want to experiment with it. So what a lot of people do if they want to save everything exactly intact is they'll save this and then they'll choose File, Save As, and then you'll name it out, save it as another copy. And that will work. Just make sure you hit Save first, because otherwise if you don't, it's only going to back up later on when you go back to it to when you previously saved it. And uh, that can get really messy. So here's a quicker way of duplicating this with all the layers intact. So we've got everything there and we can experiment, try different things. So what we're going to do is we're going to open up a panel you're probably not used, which is the window. And we're going to go down to the history panel. And voila, here's the history panel. Um, I know, and I say you're probably not used. I know a lot of people know it's there. And this history buffs that spent a whole lifetime and an entire career of Photoshop inside the history panel. But the majority of people don't really use it that often. They don't really know what it's for. It's basically for undoing and redoing, but you can see exactly where you are. Where you are. Anyway, so what we're going to do is go down to this little new document, the little plus button, and I hit that, boom. And then what it's done is it's made a duplicate document right here. So this is exactly the same as the other document. You can go in now, you can experiment, you can do you know, all kinds of different things in here. So you've got um, another version you can experiment with. And if you wanna continue experimenting with that, hit the plus button again, and it will make a copy of that one. And of course, you know, you can turn it on and go back where you want it. Or you can just go click, click, click. Now you have three more versions of it and everything is in text. So that's a quick and easy way of duplicating your layers, um, not just your layers, but your entire document. So we go into the history panel, hit this little uh, thing that looks like a new uh, layer icon with the little plus button, and it creates an entirely new layered document all ready for your experimentation, mashing up and um, different types of uh, photo manipulations or whatever you want to do to it. So thanks for watching Tip Tuesday. Don't forget to subscribe to this channel because every week I'm going to have a brand new tip for you inside of Photoshop that's going to make you amazing, awesome, and save you a ton of time. So don't forget, hit the like button, share this with your friends, and uh, until then, I'll see you at the cafe, that's photoshopcafe.com.